name is Paul Rogers and welcome to another 90 second Fast Idea. Risk and reward deals are superficially attractive to both client and supplier. Let's explore what good practice looks like in constructing risk and reward deals. In 1994, Spectrum Brands approached former professional boxer George Foreman to endorse a grill they were marketing. In return, Spectrum agreed to pay Foreman 40% of the sales profits. The George Foreman Grill sold over 100 million units, earning George Foreman at least a quarter of a billion dollars. Within five years this win-win deal had become a win-lose deal for Spectrum. They'd made an insanely generous offer to Foreman. Spectrum had alternatives they could have considered. Firstly, an offer called capping. George would earn 40% of all profits to a maximum of $10 million. The second option, gapping. Foreman would earn 40% of all profits to a maximum of 10 million units. Good practice is to model a number of potential scenarios for any proposed risk and reward deal. At the very least, Spectrum should have considered best, projected and worst case options. Being hostage to assumptions may cause you to ignore a potential outcome because you have discounted it due to cognitive bias.